if you have to deal with structure problems, you your preferred tool is the Spot Healing Brush, the Healing Brush tool. With a new version of Photoshop, you can also go to the uh, tool menu and click on the Use Legacy Healing Algorithm for the Healing Brush. So you're using the old healing brush if you like this one more. So as you can see here in this image, I have um, some problems here. Well, it's not actually problems, it's more like um, not so nice structure. And I can work on this with the spot healing brush. I just sampling an area that's okay and I'm just painting over it. Um, make sure you're not sampling from, uh, the, from the area where you already fixed the structure because that way you will get uh, some crazy lines there. So you can also fix this and this and this. Healing brush is quite nice because the healing brush um, takes care of the structure and it takes care of the um, uh, luminosity and the color as well. So if I have uh, something like, uh, let's say, um, an area with a different color, where are my curves here? So, and I'm just pushing it to different color. So let's make it orange. And so if I use the spot healing brush here and I pick a color from here, or another color, a structure from here, and paint it over, then it will automatically um, turn it into this color. So it takes uh, care of the color and the luminosity automatically. So this is one way to fix structure. If you have bigger problems, then you can use the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is awesome. Um, but I'm not using the clone stamp tool in the normal uh, way. I'm using it in the lighten mode. So take a new layer, put it into lighten mode, and also make sure the tool itself is in lighten mode. So I'm using a small brush and pick it from here. So in this way you can get rid of all the darker hairs here, which is pretty cool because it's um, first it's non-destructive, uh, second it doesn't uh, increase the file size very much and it's a very fast way to get rid of these darker spots here. Um, sometimes you have the problem of these flyaway hairs and you can also use the um, clone stem tool for this. So you just go into darken mode because these hairs are brighter and I go to darken mode in the tool as well and just paint over them. So I can use this to... I'm very fast with that so just make sure you're painting in the direction of the hairs. So don't paint like this because this will mess up the structure of your hairs but you can always use the, this tool to get rid of the really really bright ones and well usually you don't need to fix everything you just need to fix the ones that box you most and this is a very fast way to do this and a very good way So, just paint over it, sampling from a new area, and that's it. So, like this. And so with these three tools, you can uh, do anything with structure. So you use the spot healing brush with 100% hardness. This is very important because otherwise you are messing up the structure on the on the edge of the brush. Um, and you can use the clone stamp tool in lighten and in darken mode to get rid of brighter or darker spots.